I'm very involved in the Global SDG Synthesis Coalition. I'm a member of the Transitional Leadership Group, and I'm excited about it because it brings together 45, uh, 46 UN independent evaluation offices, and they play absolutely key learning and accountability roles in all of the UN agencies. They are really committed themselves to now, in addition to the evaluations they do, turn more and more to evidence syntheses, both of their own evaluations, so they can learn across evaluations, but also syntheses of scientific studies. Um, so that's a powerful group because you can then influence the UN agencies through them, but of course member states rely on them for advice, for technical cooperation, and so on. Um, so that group is now articulating this need for living evidence syntheses as well. Um, so that's going to be really critically important because we now have those priority questions about the SDGs um, and one grouping of those questions is with the planet pillar. And of course, the need for syntheses in that space is very much aligned with what we've been talking about over these, um, these few days at the summit. So highly, highly synergistic. The Global SDG Synthesis Coalition has this big pan SDG look. This particular summit is doing the deeper dive on the climate action piece of that very broad agenda. And we're not going to have sustainable development without climate action. We can't have climate action without sustainable development. We really need to be thinking of these things as linked.